Hey coffee nerds, I'm Brody. And today, we're actually in a vineyard. And look, a nice little wine glass for me, huh? But this video is not about wine. Though I did wanna show you a little bit of context for where I am. I'm here in wine country, Niagara, Ontario. And to be quite honest, I haven't really faced the full impacts of COVID-19 out here compared to people all around the world living in big cities. So today, I wanted to take you on a very quick tour of three different coffee shops in our nearest big city of Toronto, Ontario. I just wanted to give you a quick sense of what different coffee shops in our area are doing to adapt to this recent pandemic and these unprecedented times. So each one is dealing with it in their own unique way, but there are also similarities and even some new developments in the local wine culture. So let's just get right to it. My first stop was Boxcar Social in Summerhill. Definitely one of the most legendary coffee shops in Toronto. And as you can see, the space is now pretty sparse, no seating, but Niall was happy to brew me up a really nice espresso to go, roasted by Boxcar's new roasting company called Subtext. As you can see, they're also bringing in some roasters from all over the world and have even set up their own bottle shop next door with some awesome craft beers, natural wines, something that was only possible after COVID-19 due to a change in local liquor laws. Second stop, Coffee Lunar. This new place on Young Street has only been open since February of this year. So Jay essentially had to start his new business during the pandemic. It was also my first visit. So he showed me around his new shop as I sipped on an espresso roasted by the local Seth Taylor and watched as new customers came to discover this beautiful and minimalistic space. It's pretty clear he's filling a bit of a gap in the local coffee market in this part of town. Last up, I knew I had to make a quick visit to 135 Ossington where Nigel and Yoshiki were definitely making the absolute most out of their big garage door window. It's actually a great way to serve more customers without having them all crowded into a small space. They're currently stocking coffee from Not Even, Subtext as well, and Hatch Coffee, all local to Toronto. Of course, they have a lot more on the shelves to check out, but you'll have to swing by to see for yourself. So there you have it. Three really cool coffee shops in the city of Toronto. We've got Boxcar Social, Coffee Lunar, and 135 Ossington. Of course, they are just a small drop in the bucket for what all the coffee shops around the world are dealing with, but they are fairly representative for what's happening in Toronto. And hopefully you get a good sense of how COVID-19 has hit the coffee culture here in Ontario. But if there is a coffee shop in your hometown that is doing something unique, I would love to hear about it in the comments. If you learned something here, please feel free to hit me a like. And now would be a great time to subscribe for more coffee content coming down the chute. And who knows, maybe some wine content too. Mm. Welcome to Ontario.